I am not standing beside the lake of the botanical garden. Basically, we have come here to hunt for the hydra. Hydra belongs to the phylum Neuria and it's a diplopastic animal. Hydras are usually found in fresh water, in lakes water or ponds water, where the water is very clear, free from any dirt or derbies, without any kind of waves. Such environment are perfect for hydra grow. So we are going to see how to collect hydra and how to observe them. I am gently collecting some water from here because there is a high chance that hydras live in this area. Now that I have collected the water, I will keep it still for 10 or 15 minutes to let it settle and become clear for observation. In this sample that we have collected, I can already see with my naked eye several tiny organisms moving around. So it's highly possible that hydras are present here. We will take the sample home and place it into a clean container for further observation. At home, I have placed the collected water along with the plants into a container. After observing for quite some time, I have noticed several hydras in here. Among them, I found Chlorohydra verissima, which is the green hydra, and also I have found Hydra vulgaris, which is the colorless species. Now, we will try to observe how they move by setting up the camera, and after that, we will look at their microscopic structure. We have prepared a slide using a sample of the Chlorohydra verissima. It is very simple. We took the hydra from the sample, placed it on the slide, put a cover slip on the top, and now we will place it under the microscope to observe its internal structure. <laughs> 